the ceiling. Look at look at the mold up there. Look at all the rotted wood. Uh, it's gonna cost so much money. What's going on, guys? This is Tyler. Uh, we're hopping in this video right here with the new headquarters that we just purchased. Um, wasn't really in the in the books for the plans, but this opportunity came up and it has a really cool story we might share with you later uh, that we just couldn't pass up. So uh, we're gonna take you inside, give you a little tour of its dilapidated condition uh, that it is right now and some of our ideas for what we're gonna be doing in here. Um, we welcome you to follow along with the process of uh, rehabbing this place and turning it into a uh, extension of our automotive complex here in Running Springs. previous owner of this place has been here for like a hundred years and the guy was uh, pretty old he was in his 80s and I've known him for a long time and I, I guess I just asked him if he wanted to sell me the place one day and it was uh, we'll, we'll put some pictures in here the condition of it before but it was cluttered I mean there were probably 10 old cars broken down cars here and the whole inside was packed with full of mostly junk it, you could hardly walk in there it was uh, pretty bad so come on inside give you a little tour of the condition of it at, uh, where it's at right now So the picture of this was pretty enclosed right here. Let me get some light going. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is an enclosed office right here. Uh, pretty much just put out all there. There's a little kitchenette and bathroom here. Uh, the water heater had exploded and disintegrated all the drywall and brought all the wood in the bathroom. And the office is just kind of stinky and old and we're looking for something different and new in here so we ripped it all out um, and where the roof it has this needs to, a complete replacement it's leaking everywhere in here all the plywood is rotted out it's smelly it's pretty bad so that's gonna be one of the first things we do um this is gonna be an interesting project here you can see you have this steel beam that supports pretty much the entire structure of the whole shop and it stops right here and uh, it's because there was an office built here so in order for us to modify all this we put this big engineered beam in to hold it up when we tore this office wall out but I'm working on sourcing a new beam that we're going to be installing here and uh, welding at that joint and uh, attaching to the wall out prop there so that we have the proper structure and I'm thinking we're going to be building an office um, pretty much in line with this beam all the way down here. The rest of it is kind of shop, and um, I have a few other businesses besides Showtime. Uh, we own and operate high caliber auto glass, uh, which is the only glass replacement and repair business in our local area here. And it's looking for a new home. And then we have Rec Technologies, which uh, in the past has been all automotive diagnostic and technology servicing the shops in our area and doing calibrations and module programmings and diagnostic and stuff like that but we're looking to expand that into something a little more exciting a little more um something we can uh, kind of show the world what we're made of so we may be doing some exotic rebuilds uh we might be exotic modifications um uh, lifted truck type stuff all the all the motorsport and um automotive activities that we really like and are into uh, is probably going to be enveloped under the umbrella of that company. So um, the other portion of this uh, facility is probably going to be where all that stuff happens and it's all organized. So um, this bay here is probably going to be our high caliber auto glass uh, shop section. We may put up a, a wall, a temporary wall to divide the two. Um, um, so that's going to be here and then over there would be our uh, rec technology build area or storage for our vehicles or calibration area, whatever that might be. That's kind of where the mindset's at with the place right now, so. Uh, I'll take you back into the pretty much scariest part of this entire uh, building here. So much room for activities. There's tons of room for activities back here. It's kind of a scabbed on um, addition to the place. 
I don't know what somebody was trying to achieve here. Maybe they were going for the rustic look, but I'm not quite a fan of that. So we're going to be fixing that up. So this is the, the creepy cave back room. Um, it is a, it's the length of the building. It's about 15 feet wide. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it'll be used for yet. Storage, inventory, um, production area. We, it, it's going to develop as we renovate the place and as, as things find a home in here. So um, it's just a long empty room and it has this really creepy well <clears throat> that looks like it's from that movie. What's the one with the girl that's like, oh. You know what I'm talking about? No. Huh? <laughs> no. It's like... Uh, Alien? The ring. The ring, I think. Has that creepy little girl that comes out of the well making those noises. Check it out. Get a video. I'm pulling it up. What? But tell me that is not fucking creepy. <laughs> now I'll go lift that thing up to here. Drop this on my head. Drops <laughs> it on yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's stuck, but it goes into like the storm, the storm drains around the shop. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. All right, guys. So like Tyler was saying, there's a pretty creepy room in here, and it's got a, uh, a giant well-looking thing, and I think I hear something. <laughs> All right, that concludes the tour of our creepy room. I'm just trying to find a vision for this place. Obviously, he was doing some painting back here because he's got this exhaust fan in the ceiling. Look at look at the mold up there. Look at all the rotted wood. Uh, it's going to cost so much money. Um, so there's this other room attached to the side. But I think this was his clean room. Clean room for maybe. Finishing wood. It was a cabinet shop before is what it was. And it had this door up that we recently took down to just kind of open it up and, and see if this is something we wanted to keep or get rid of or what we're going to do there. So this door goes back to the outside too. Yeah, that's pretty much the conclusion the tour of the shop so we're going to be filming the rehab process of this and everything that we do in here um and then after it's rehab we're going to be filming what we do in here we're gonna you know just try and bring some content that uh makes sense for what we're into and uh that you guys might appreciate um i think it'd be really cool to re to build some really cool cars uh, we do a lot of collision repair and we're really good at that but after a certain amount of time, we've been doing it for 12 years, fixing the same normal cars over and over again. It's, you know, gets a little old. So just looking for something new and something to expand to uh, show the rest of the world who we are here. All right, guys, make sure you like, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow uh, along with the process of uh, rehabbing this new headquarters of ours and everything that's going to come along with it.